Hey you guys, this is your kapatid Didi and we have a new vid just for you. Let's go! Kapatid Daniel! May 30th marks the anniversary of Double D Kicks channel in YouTube. We're here in that special series where I share to you my collection. Second episode, let me share to you my entire Yeezy collection. Ta-da! At first, I'm not a fan of Yeezy, but once I tried it on fit, it's definitely an innovation as far as comfortability is concerned. Wearing that sneaker on your feet for the entire day. Let me share to you guys my entire Yeezy collection. So let's start with the Yeezy Quantum. I just have one in my collection. Boom. Look at that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a Yeezy Quantum Teal. I'm not sure if this is the third colorway or fourth colorway, but this is not the original colorway. The original colorway is just, I forgot the name. My one and only Yeezy Quantum. All right, all right, all right, all right. Second lone pair in my collection is a Yeezy 500 which is the taupe colorway. Boom. Look at that. Yep. Material is really good. Colorway, in my opinion, is really clean. And this is my one and only Yeezy 500. This doesn't have a boost. It uses the adiprene technology. In my opinion, this is a very, very clean colorway. This is still dead stock because this is part of a couple pair. I'm still waiting for Mrs. D to be here so we could rock this pair at the same time. All right, all right, all right. Couple pair. Matching, matching. All right, all right, all right. Third on the list, another lone pair is my Yeezy 380. In my opinion, this is one of the most comfortable Yeezy there is in the market. Look at that. 380 mist. In my opinion, this is a better colorway than the original one, which is the Alien. This is more neutral, but the silhouette itself, the 380 didn't, or the market, um, didn't really appreciate it. I'm not sure why, but as I mentioned, this is one of the most comfortable Yeezy. We purchased this at Stadium Goods below retail price. So, very, very good deal. Yeezy. 700 clay bro look at that yep yeah 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 so still dead stock i actually purchased this on the sneakers and stuff i need to pick this up in venice beach and i use quantum my quantum pairs by the beach really bad really bad choice but this is also one of the pair of sneakers that I have or the Yeezy that they have the infinite loop lacing system which most of us really don't appreciate. But anyway, this is what it is. Yeezy Clay Brown. So really cool, really cool colorway. So this cage in here, that's glow in the dark for you. All right, all right, Yeezy 700 Clay Brown. One of our all-time favorite dad shoes, the Yeezy Wave Runner. Look at that. Yep. Woo. Woo. All right, all right, all right. By the way, for this one, I opt to have my true to size nine and a half. I understand that this runs a little small, but for me, I'm okay with this because this is slow. I can definitely rock this. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Let me share with you 
my Yeezy Foam Runners collection. All right, let's go ahead and start with this one. Yeezy Foam Runner Ochre. This is the one that I used during my uh, travel to the Philippines. I really love this. This is the first time that I rock Yeezy Foam Runner and I really do like it. I used this for 15 hours straight during my travel via airplane. And dude, my feet really feels comfortability. All right, all right. Really comfortable on feet. Yeezy Foam Runner Ochre. Let's go ahead and move on to the most recent pair of Yeezy Foam Runner that I picked up. The Yeezy Stone Sage. Quite similar with the colorway, but this is more on the grayish side. The ochre is more on the brown side, this one more on the gray side, and it has that brush stroke all over the Yeezy Foam Runner. All right, all right. Very, very comfortable on the Yeezy Foam Runner Vermilion colorway. So, one of the foam runners that was made in China. And this actually released October of last year, 2021. So, Red October Yeezy. Yeah, yeah. Last for our foam runner collection is the Yeezy MX Clay. Look at that. Yep. Yep. Whew. Fire. One of the best, like, colorway in my opinion. Also made in China. All right, all right, all right. One of the easy slides that we hit, one of my favorite, the Yeezy Resin. Look at that. Okay. Second to the list, black Yeezy Slide. You can never go wrong. Look at that. Yeezy Onyx. All right. Now, Yeezy Slide Suit Colorway. We double up on this one. We actually let the other one go, but I'm still happy I got this because this is one of the earth tone dark colorway that you could definitely use on an everyday basis. All right, last but definitely not the least is this one, Yeezy Pure, but this is a restock on 2021. So the original of this, the finish is matte finish, but right now it's like the rough finish or the foam runner texture. All right, all right, all right. The Yeezy Boost 350 V2s, the Citrin. All right, look at that. You can never go wrong. One of the original colorway, this is also a couple pair. So Mrs. D also have this pair. She's already rocking it in the Philippines. So yeah, yeah, yeah. My very first Yeezy 350 V2s. All right, earth colorway. Look at that, Whew. fire. Okay, so this is actually the pair that we cook the most. If I'm not mistaken, we hit six pairs on this one and we sell the others except my pair and Mrs. D pair. So, yep, Mrs. D also have this. I'm still waiting for her to be here so we could rock them at the same time. Still dead stock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A one of the original colorway that we hit, and we actually hit this. Still, when I'm in the Philippines, I just joined the confirmed app. So, the Yeezy Belugas Reflective. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still dead stock. Whew. Fire. Second to the last. One of the original colorway as well, the blue tints. Okay. Look at that. Bluish shade of translucent on it. And in my opinion, this will age beautifully. All right, the Yeezy blue tints. Last on our Yeezy collection, we just hit this to this year, the Yeezy. Oreo. Like that. Whew. Okay, so I didn't hit on the Yeezy brand, 
I didn't hit on the Yeezy Blue Dazzle, but I'm happy that we hit with the Oreos. Definitely will be staying in my collection. Alright, alright, alright. Is it okay if your Yeezy Boost 350 V2 have pull tab or not? Comment down below. I would really love to hear from you guys. Alright? So guys, if you're just new here, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so whenever I post a new video, you'll know. Follow me on my Instagram account. That's double underscore D underscore kicks. Also, we do have our Facebook page. That's double D kicks. And our Facebook group page, that's Kapatid Double D Kicks. Make sure to follow us on those platforms as well. And guys, once we reach that 2,500 subscribers mark, we'll be giving away one pair of sneakers in your preferred size. Alright? So yeah, yeah, yeah. My entire Yeezy collection. Episode 2. Alright? So stay tuned for our next episode. Sharing my collection that we accumulated over the years all right all right i think that's it for now thank you stay safe god bless